We've got to talk about the next generation of Aura Sync, what's happening with uh, lighting and control. So when you talk about Battle Station, you're talking about your whole desktop environment. And so we've really kind of been seeing from the community say, how can we take Aura and expand upon it, right? And offer that level of kind of control and functionality and flexibility, but in something beyond really the core experience of our desktop. And that's what we have actually with this guy right here, the Asus Aura Terminal. So this is a very, very cool device. It has uh, four digital addressable ports on it that essentially allow you to connect um, uh, any type of uh, RGB addressable LED strip and then be able to have that be fully synchronized and controlled uh, from your PC. So if you want to go ahead and use this as perimeter lighting, maybe put it underneath your desk, around your desk, if you want to attach it to a monitor, any number of different types of configurations, you're going to be good to go and you can go ahead and synchronize or independently control those strips. Um, but here for CES, we also want to kind of up the ante and show off something a little bit cooler. And so we've got our halo based technology. And so what this is, is it allows us to actually go ahead and read on screen metadata. So whether you're playing a game or whether you're actually it's desktop information or whether it's a video we can actually see this reflect in real time so if we uh, go ahead and just take our, our mouse over here we can actually see that if I go ahead and pull back, you can see the purple there on the desktop is purple there for our LED strip. And if I go ahead and pull up, it's white, right? And so you can imagine that this is a really cool way to be able to have a more immersive type of experience. While 2017 was amazing, 2018 is just gonna take it to a whole nother level. And so we've got the Strix flares, one outlet for someone who's looking into that customized lighting rig, matching their system, matching those specs. Um, what's new for this lineup, for this accessory for this year? When you're talking about a keyboard, I think functionality is equally as important. So We've done a couple of cool things. So one, uh, we've gone ahead and given you a scroll wheel, which I think a lot of people love in terms of volume control, but we've moved it to the left-hand side because uh, from an access position, we think it's actually more natural. Uh, and so as opposed to kind of reaching over onto the right-hand side and making the adjustment there. And especially with a lot of people being right-handed mouse users. Yeah, that's 100% right. So uh, in addition to that, of course, you have your quick access keys at the top for multimedia functionality. Uh, you have actually a USB pass-through, which is nice at the top. There's actually an under-routing cable, uh, which is nice if you've got a headset. So if you want to run the actual headset cable directly underneath the keyboard, you can do that and it'll pass through cleanly. Uh, so that's going to be another nice option. Of course, nice braided cable as well and integrated memory profiles. So that if you want to be able to go ahead and store things directly inside the keyboard, you're good to go. And this will also be leveraging our ASUS uh, Armory software so that in terms of all the control and adjustment and macro customization, things like that, you can do uh, all that on the fly with, of course, our Armory software. So I think this is going to be a really popular choice for gamers that are looking for something a little bit more price aggressive, but still really well built, uh, still has some nice flexibility. I love the dual texture finish and even of course uh, the removable uh, palm rest. You're going to be good to go and this will be coming out probably in the not too distant future, maybe about the end of Q1.